So we're, here, we're, Three. we're here today at Basic High School, and I wanted to record a video for all the other preachers in America that need to be invading these high schools with full bore amplified sound, if possible, and signs to totally assault the place with the kingdom of God coming upon it. To preach a biblical gospel, to call men to repentance and faith in Christ. If you look here, this is one of the worst high schools in Las Vegas. Uh, this here uh, is basic. We're going to give them the basics here, basic. We do high schools all over the United States by the grace of God, as I... Um, I'm from Southern California, and then the Lord called me to shut the business down and be a full-time missionary here. My name is Brother Ron. Just wanted to do this. I want to encourage you to get into your cities and your yeah, towns and work, and work every high school in your county because the wickedness and the, the rebellion is at its utmost uh, degree now. It's getting worse and worse as the years go by. Yes. Even a few years ago, it's gotten much worse. But there's a remnant of kids that will be saved. They're elected of God. They're coming out. And so our job is to proclaim the gospel and preach the word. We ambush it with signs on each side, signs in the corner, depending on the setup of the school. you got to find the setup of the school. Uh, one person could be across the street where the main where the main veins are, where the main uh, entrances are of the school, to where the kids are coming out. They're able to receive literature. You'll be able to get conversations. There's people that get in conversations. They hand out tracts. You want to be where the buses are and all the parents' cars are because in that, uh, the parents have to read the signs. Uh, they have to see the literature and the signs and they have to hear the word. There's no escape with this type of invasion. This is the way that God has taught us how to do high schools all over the nation. Brothers in Maryland, North and Southern California, Washington uh, have been doing these schools now over the past couple of years. Uh, and we're seeing great fruit and great grace poured out. So I want to encourage all the uh, those who's, who've been called, even in part-time missions, street preachers, uh, in your own town. If you're working, you can spend an hour out of the day to go to these middle schools and high schools to preach the word of God. These kids have never heard the word. Uh, they're you bound by the every form of perversion is? and wickedness. And uh, that's why they need to hear the truth. And the call is to go now. There's no time uh, to waste. Brother Mike Leal, uh, which you'll see his testimony, uh, is a result of this exact work of preaching outside of high schools where they are hearing inside the buildings with the horn, full amplified sound. And most places, the police officers let this go on uh, with with uh, a massive amount of volume, so everybody can hear. Brother Mike Leal uh, was a false convert, got born again later through coming out and serving me, discipled under the mission work that we do in Washington State and at Cascade High School in Everett. He now is going into his school and preaching the gospel on campus and showing, uh, as we prayed and, and, and really waited on the Lord to show us how we're going to reach the kids inside, we got to go inside and outside. So who knows if you're in Michigan, if you're in the Midwest, wherever you are. I know Brother Jeff is in the Midwest and Christ Fellowship Bible Church preaching schools as well. There's kids in there that are born again that will have the boldness to go in and reach their mission field daily and pour in and plant and water the seeds and God will give them the grace to do that. So we need to get into the school first on the outside because we cannot go on the property. You cannot go on the property because uh, that's against the law. So we got to stay on the public sidewalk. You're allowed to be on the sidewalk even in front of the school. Uh, we go across the street depending on the location of the school to get more distance with the horns so the word can be heard from farther away. Uh, and so the Lord is doing a mighty work here today. I've already preached for quite some time. I wanted to share that because uh, I don't do many videos at all. We do this enough time. I'm not good with the camera. Brother Kush is recording this uh, because it's just a time that where we are in great danger as a nation. Uh, God is, as a judgment upon the country, is raising up a youth. This generation is, this generation is uh, teeth like knives, jaw teeth like swords. Proverbs 30 generation is here. Okay? But we need to preach the word to warn this generation. It's more of a sounding of the alarm and a warning of these schools. In Jesus' name, and God will save his people by the grace of God. God bless. Repent of his the living and the dead at his appearing. There is no one that can meet God's standard of righteousness. We've all broken the law. I am the Lord your God, and no other gods before me. The Ten Commandments is God's righteous standard. You can never meet that standard in your sin. You deliberately defy God. You know right now, even you're deliberately mocking God and breaking his law. Jesus fulfilled the law and the prophets. That's a cop's right there. No one's talking about it. There it is. God, God, turn and live. Sheep yes. and live. Be reconciled to God. To be restored to God. This is a wicked school, ladies and gentlemen. God. He gives you power over marijuana, abuse, and drug and alcohol abuse, and sexual perversion. Look, so that's the power of God that we want to be lost also. We got born again. Praise the Lord. Praises are the Lord Jesus Christ. He called us our God. Okay, sent to Jesus to be saved. We the king of kings did. The hope we have only in Christ by faith. You are made right with God, declared righteous by faith. Jesus paid it all. There is no one sacrifice for sins. There is one eternal, effectual high
priest, the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, he's still there. He's an unchangeable priest for that place. Oh, Praise the Lord. Okay, we're at the, the, the Brown Middle School now here in Henderson, uh, Nevada. And we're set up here. We've got the brother, uh, brother Ace over in the corner with his sign. The buses will come out that way. He's got a small amplified device to preach the gospel that the students get on the buses. Uh, they'll be able to hear over there. I'll preach here into the school as they're coming out. They'll be able to hear inside the building when the bell rings. It's going to echo through the building because the amplified is a high-powered horn, uh, which we would need for that. Uh, Brother Michael's down there on the corner with his sign to get the cars in traffic. Uh, and um, Goose is here with his sign. Uh, so it's good. We have a, we, we, we have a multitude of signs. It's good because, uh, you know, they can read the Word of God. They can hear the Word, uh, see it, and read it. So we want to ambush the school. We can use military terms because the Bible says that we must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. We're, we're in God's army. This is a real war. This is it's a spiritual war. Uh, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. And uh, the weapons of our warfare are mighty uh, in God, pulling down strongholds and casting down arguments uh, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So we are out here to proclaim the praise of Christ. We are free because all we're here to do is worship God and exalt Christ because he's saved us. He's given us new hearts and we get to exalt him and magnify him by proclaiming his word with the, the grace and the gifts he's given us to do that. And all Christians are to share their faith at some capacity. Uh, and if you don't have the equipment or signs, go to the high schools, go to the middle schools, use your voice or get in conversations with the people. This is so important now because if you saw the high school, uh, there's a lot of, the older they get, the harder their hearts are getting in this generation. Uh, you, we, we see a lot more literature reception at the middle schools. Uh, the, the, the hearts are softer in these young kids. Uh, and the, that seed's never going to, that word's not going to return void. We know that. God's word's going to prosper forth in the thing which he sent it to do. And so we truly believe the grace gospel, the salvation is all of grace. Uh, it's God's grace. He's going to do his job and save whom he's chosen in Christ. Our job is obedience uh, under the love of God to proclaim him, call men to repentance and faith in Christ. There's no responsibility other than that. And to have our conduct with God. We're not going to uh, give, give in to the mockers. We don't need to argue and not quarrel. We gentle to all. But we're to boldly rebuke and exhort with all authority according to Titus chapter 2. So we need to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might in these last days. Final call for this nation, guys. Uh, I, a preacher, uh, evangelist, a pastor, uh, elder, uh, whoever you are, brother, sister in Christ, let's get involved in doing this work. Look at the schools, let the Holy Spirit guide you where to stand. He will lead you right when you get there. Get, find the main entrance where the buses are coming out, where the main corridor is where people are going to be coming out of the classrooms. Kids are going to come out. Some schools are easier because they come out of one location. Other schools they might come out of three or four locations. If you have a couple of laborers with you, that's good. Um, you know, I'm thankful that we have brothers here that have been raised up in Vegas here uh, to serve the Lord. Kush is one of them. He got saved, you know, about a year ago out of the uh, out of Islam. Uh, he got born again and he was serving, you know, handing out nightclub tickets and through this walking by the signs of preaching the word. Uh, God called him up. And he's been out every day since, the full-time missionary here in Las Vegas. Pray for us, folks. We're full-time missionaries. Most of us are based here in Vegas. Some of us travel throughout the country. Uh, East Coast, all Grace Church. Brother Sean and Randy are out there preaching high schools. Uh, you know, keep them in prayer as well. Brother Mike uh, and uh, the mission team in Washington there. And uh, you know, there's many laborers out there in Washington as, 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 as gospel is going forth there. Brother Bill uh, in Southern California, Todd Sewell of Southern California. Uh, they're, they're invading these high schools now. We're seeing radical results and just fruit of the gospel going forth. Time is now. So God bless you and uh, thanks for listening. Praise the Lord. And again, by doing these schools, you're reaching, you're infiltrating entire communities, okay? With faculty members, parents, and students, thousands of people in, in the whole community are getting reached. So if you get your county, how many people are hearing the word? Plus taking pictures of the word of God and putting them on the internet and all that kind of stuff. So praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you guys. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are here to proclaim the good news of salvation, about reconciliation to the living God from the Holy Bible. This is the gospel of the grace of God, and this gospel will be preached to all the nations, to all the world, and the end will come. You need to be saved. And the reason why you need to be saved is because we are guilty before God of all of our personal sins against God and thought what it be. Uh, there's no one good, no one righteous. And we understand that most of your parents don't the demons are angry. The demons are angry. A wicked, sinful nature that is opposed to God when you're born. No one taught you how to lie. 
No one taught you to cuss out of your mouth or disobey your mom and dad. We are naturally prone to go astray from God and do evil because we are evil. I want you to understand your condition. You will understand your condition before God to see your depraved condition so you can see your need of God's amazing love in Christ and what He's done. There is no one good, not even one. The Bible says that all is sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So all of us are guilty before God of our personal sins against God. So every sin we commit, and that's according to the Ten Commandments. I am the Lord your God, and have no other gods before me is the greatest commandment. We put everything before God. Okay, the Ten Commandments is God's standard of judgment. And so we don't meet His standard, and your conscience bears witness of the law that God has written on your heart so that you know what right and wrong is. And all those wrongs you commit are against God Himself. So you need to be saved from God and His judgment against your sins. This is why everybody dies in the body. Because of sin, physically. Our bodies return to the dust, the same 13 elements in your body, the same 13 elements in the crust of the earth. And this is why we are eternally dead spiritually. Because of sin. The wage of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is about reconciliation for you to be restored to God. To be in a right standing in a relationship with God through faith alone in the Lord Jesus Christ. You're given the faith of Christ so that you can have faith in Christ. Because the gift of God's eternal life is the gift of repentance. God commands you to repent and believe in the gospel. That you have not met God's sin, but the only one who lived perfectly righteous without sin from birth to death is the Lord Jesus Christ, your King and your God. He humbled himself, became a man, and lived a perfect, sinless, sinful, sinless life without sin, under death, under the glory of his Father. And when he laid his life down on the cross, he shed his eternal blood. The Bible says that without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins. So God, in order to appease his own wrath, that means to satisfy his hatred and anger against sinners and their sin, Jesus paid the punishment and stepped in on the cross and became a curse for sin. God condemned his only begotten Son, and God made him sin for his people. Jesus glorified his God and glorified his Father in that perfect sacrifice. On the third day, God raised him from the dead. God has ordained the Lord Jesus Christ to be the judge of the living and the dead. Jesus said, I am the Bible says every knee will bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of the glory of God the Father. To know the Lord Jesus Christ eternal life, you cannot meet God's standards. You need righteousness from Christ to be imputed to you. The great news is that we have been delivered from the power of sin. We've been, delivered, we've been delivered from the power of sin in our lives. We were lost. We were on the way to hell, but Jesus saved us. You are lost. We are sinners. We need a Savior. We are on the broad way of destruction. But Jesus came to seek and save that which was lost. Jesus came to raise the dead. We are dead in sins and trespasses against God. He makes you alive in Christ. Are you born again? Are you alive? In John chapter 3, go read this with mom and dad tonight, kids. Go read the gospel according to John in the Bible. Start reading some psalms in the morning. The gospel of John in chapter 3 says, Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom. He can't be born again. Psalm 50 is very, very terrifying warns, it's terrifying thing to fall in the hands of the living God. He says uh, that to consider this, you will forget God, lest I carry in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoever offers praise glorifies me, and to him who owns his conduct the right, I will show the salvation of God. Come like a church? Yes, sir. They make no. me angry, and you perish in the way. Wait, last is kind of a little. God hears God's comes upon the children of disobedience. Kids, turn to the living God today. The Lord is a true God. The God, 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 this God, God, you God, God bless you. Praise the Lord. And the nations will not be able to endure not the kids. These are kids. Go solicit somewhere else. We're here to preach You're the gospel. My kid. You need to teach your kid the Bible so you're right with God. Amend your wicked ways. No, there's a freedom of speech because they want to live wrong. That's right. Because they want to live wrong. I can too. And you're soliciting to my son. The proposition of God soliciting to my son. I hope God turns him out of his sin and hope he turns you too. Go home and read the Bible with your son. Teach your kid the word of God. We believe in God. We don't believe in pushing it. Not the God of the Bible. You believe in the God who lives in your own mind, sir. You need to believe in the God of the Bible, the one true God. He'll take the anger out of your heart. No, we don't want that. We want you to be saved, sir. But he'll take the anger and rage out of your heart. He will do that. 
in Christ. To repent, believe the gospel, amend your wicked ways, turn and live. We live in a God-hating society that hates the God of the Bible. You need your own God. Go read the Bible and see if you're in the faith. But I see the Bible says, oh, because you go to a building on Sunday, or you walk down an aisle, and you cry, that's always an abomination of God, folks. The Pope and the priests are false prophets. Jesus Christ is a Savior. He's the way, the truth, and life. There's one high priest, or the eternal, effectual priest, and that's Jesus Christ. And you come to Him. Only faith in Christ saves. Not Catholicism. Not any man-made false religion of the world. They lead to hell. They lead to hell fire. Okay, Jesus Christ is Lord of all. You come to Him to have a relationship with God. You know Christ. If you don't want Him, the wrath of God abides upon you. You reject the Son of God. The wrath of God abides upon you. That means you hate, the anger of God is turned towards you. His bow is bent. His sword is sharpened, and He'll slay you in the lake of fire. It's not a game. You better get right with God, folks. I know many of you are angry today. Many parents are upset here today. Your kids need to know the Word of God. The older they get, the harder they are. You wonder why your house is so out of order. But the rebellious young people that are cussing and swearing in your home, smoking marijuana, doing all kinds of witness in these school, on the school property here, because we don't know God. We turned our back on God. This nation's played the harlot with God and fornicated with the world and forsaken God. Return to the Lord your God with all your heart and amend your wicked ways. Uh, you church goers. Even now, the axe is already laid to the root of the trees. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown in the fire. Bear fruit to worthy repent. Going to church on Sunday doesn't save you. Attending a building is in your salvation. Salvation is of the Lord. The evidence you are born again, Jesus, 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 you've been saved, will be practicing righteousness, doing what God says, and loving His Word, and growing in Him, and overcoming sin, increasing in godliness. Is that happening in your life, folks? There's so many distractions. Uh, hello, God bless you all who are watching this video. I'm here at Cascade High School, my high school here in Everett, Washington, and we're just going to be preaching the biblical gospel uh, to uh, every person that we see, or to, to every crowd, and uh, you know, there's no more time to be playing around, no more time to play games, and a lot of people are wasting their time out here, just talking about nothing, cursing, uh, talking about a lot of perverse things, but we're going to uh, present them the glorious gospel today in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's do this. Oh, hallelujah! Glory! I seek the Lord Jesus Christ! Come to Jesus, or you start with breathing chance, friends. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Friends, after death is appointed judgment. And one day you're going to be face to face with God, friends. You're going to be face to face with God. He's going to judge you according to every thought, every word, every action. Friends, I'm telling you the truth today. See the Lord Jesus and you have a breathing chance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Friends, come to Christ when you have a breathing chance. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the truth. And Jesus is the life. Friends, God has commanded mankind everywhere to repent and to turn from their sins. Why has God commanded you to turn from your sins? Because you were born into your sin, friends. And you need the righteousness of Christ imputed to you. Friends, the Word of God says in John chapter 3, verse 3 in the Bible, it says, Unless one is born again, they shall not see the kingdom hey, of God. I see the Lord Jesus Christ, I see the Lord's walls. Can you please keep the comments to yourself? This is reality. This is so real, friends. One day you're going to be face to face with God and He's going to judge you. God commands you to repent and turn from your sins and surrender your life to Him. Surrender your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Friends, you might think that everything is okay. You might feel everything is okay. But in reality, you're, you're in great danger and you're under the wrath of God. Turn to Jesus. The only way. Get that? You broke the law. And since God is a perfect and just judge, He's going to judge you, friends. All the time you lie. All the time you sin against you. He's not breaking the law. He's going to walk from it. No. Yeah. Ah! Freedom of speech. I tell you the truth today. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father unless it's through Him, friends. 
Jesus made it so specific, friends. He said it so clearly. He said to either in the broad way that leads to destruction, or the narrow path that leads to eternal life, friends. God is dead! Come in close. Why you still have the breathing chest, friends? But tomorrow is never promised. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. You probably will up this morning, but you can't guarantee you're going to sleep tonight, friends. Surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Jesus Christ today. Turn to Jesus. Turn away from your sinful, wicked way to the Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. The Word of God says that there's none righteous. No, not one. All have fallen short of the glory of God. Friend, God, God commands you to turn from your sins, from all your marijuana, from all your pornography, from all your sins, friends. You have no idea that you're in great danger and under the wrath of God when you're not born again. When you're not saved, friends. This is reality. This is truth. Come to Christ. Forsake all and follow Him. The Word of God says that you cannot serve one, you can't serve God and then serve another God, friends. You either love one or hate the other. You love the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Or... You surrender your life to him, friends. Come to Christ. Turn to Jesus. Go to Anna. Okay. Nice to see you. Make sure you make sure you be born again. You gotta surrender your life to Jesus. You need to, you need to make sure you're born again though, okay? Make sure you surrender your life to Jesus. Take care. Jesus said, unless one is born again, they shall not see the kingdom of God. You know, how are you born again? How do you know that you're born again? You hate the world, you hate the things of the world. If you're still in the world and you love the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in you. And the Word of God says that uh, if, you're friend if friendship with the world makes enemy with God, it makes enmity with God. I don't know where you are exactly, but I'm just telling you what the Word of God says. You know, If you're truly born again, you're going to submit your life completely. You're going to serve the Lord with all your life, uh, all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. It's all about Jesus when we're born again. Not about us at all, but all about Him. All right? Nice to see you again. God bless you. Take care. Praise! Guys, you need to come to Jesus. You need to be born again, man. Guys, surrender your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. There is none right, no, not one. All have fallen short of the glory of God. Hi. All you guys need Jesus. Hello. Nice to meet you. When did you get born again, friends? When did you get saved? There's a lot of people that play hypocrite, friends. Many people are playing church. Many people are playing Christian. What are you doing, friends? Come out of sin. Come out of darkness and serve the Lord. Repent today. Turn from your sins to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. There's none righteous. No, not one. All have fallen short of the glory of God. And unless one is born again, they shall not see the kingdom of God. Guys, you need Jesus. Come to Christ. Just now heading home from uh, Cascade. I uh, just wanted to uh, share a little bit with you guys as, as I'm walking. Uh, that you know, there's there's no time left to be playing around. There's there's no time left to to be wasting our times with other things and uh, putting our focus on other things. No, uh, we only have time right now to uh, keep ourselves focused on Christ. Uh, and it is very important for us uh, to, to stand out and to be bold for the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, not to blend in with the world, uh, you know, but, you know, totally stand out and, uh, and just speak the truth in love uh, and warn the people uh, of what great danger they're in outside of Christ. Uh, you know, and tell them that this is a reality, and it is. Uh, you know, not to be afraid and, uh, uh, and just speak the truth. You know, this is so real. And, you know, it's, there's no time left to be playing around. There's no time left to, uh, you know, just to be standing around and letting all these people pass by living in sin without letting them know that they're in, you know, that they're in deep trouble with God if they don't repent and turn from Him. And uh, that's why I'm making this video right now and just letting you guys know that it's really important that we do this. There's really no time left. Uh, I mean, the day of the Lord is near. His kingdom is near. And, you know, it's time to go out and do the will of God and uh, just preach the Holy Word, preach the Gospel. Um, he's going to protect us. He's going to... He's never. The Bible says He's never going to leave us nor forsake us. 
And, uh, you know, even though there's people that uh, get riled up because we're preaching the clean message, the, the pure message, the pure doctrine of God, the, the counsel of God, they're going to get angry. They might push you around, beat you up, spit on you, suspend you. But we have God. And that's all we'll ever need. He's our one defense and our only defense. And, uh, you know, I just really want to, you know, exhort and encourage, you know, you know, go out, preach. Don't be afraid. Don't be unashamed of the God. Be unashamed. Do not. Excuse me. Romans 1.16. For I am not unashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God. It's the power, guys. It's the power. The word of God is power. And so, I just wanted to tell you that. You know, don't be, don't be ashamed. Preach it. Don't be afraid of what the world thinks or what people will say. You know, who, who, we, can, we only fear God. What can man do to us? What can flesh do to us? Don't fear, don't fear man who can, you know, kill your body, but fear God who can send your body, who can kill you here on earth and send you to hell. You know, it's time to do the will of God. No games. Love you guys. God bless you. Yeah, we're here with um, uh, Brother no Noah. is a young man at Brown High oh, School. We just got done uh, preaching the word. His mom had come. Was so encouraged uh, that we were out here today. A uh, young, young Christian family that loves the Lord, and uh, they saw the guys. I wanted them to share a little bit about uh, some of the things that they, they heard, saw, because it's very important that we all see this, okay? Because this is a real thing. And Mike, that, that Brother Noah is really encouraged today. God's doing a work in his heart. Anyone want to share, you know, with anybody that would watch, uh, you know, what happened here today? Um. Well, when I first came out, I'm like, wait, what are these people doing? And then I walked down further, and then I saw it was about God, and then I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then um, one of the security said, um, just don't pay attention to them and stuff. And then I'm, I'm like, I'm all thinking, I'll pay attention if I want to. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. You're allowed to, now you're allowed to, and we just share that, you're allowed to actually preach a non-instructional time on your campus at lunchtime and after school. It's not during class. You've got to respect that time. But any time before and after school, you're allowed to preach. And if they stop you, it's against the law. So they cannot stop you from getting literature or listening. And we see that oh, all throughout right. schools, all throughout the schools. So that's our right. And it's your right. So you need to know this as a mom. Parents I need to know this too. Is because that they've taken so much out of the they, schools. They, and there's so, right. it's so sad to see how many people are here against the word of God. And to you me, see, that's what makes me sad. You saw the parents getting the enraged early. Yeah, so we got and to pray I, for they them. were over there calling the police. They're calling the police. Yeah, they called the police on us and everything. For, and so, it's pretty sad, you know. Right. That's. I mean, that's why we're here. We're here I to mean, worship God, right? We're, we were put on this earth to glorify God. Don't see that Jesus shed His blood for us and all the stuff that He had to endure. It's just sad. And they can't it's see this God. So our Jesus, so so nice about this. And our job is to just go proclaim His praise. And many, Jesus said in His Word, "Many are going to be offended, and, and they, they hated Him before they hated us, because He called us out of the world. Therefore, the world hates us. So Same it's okay. Thing. We're not mad at them. So as you see this, it's we've got to see reality. People don't know reality. They don't know other people. You know, don't don't, they don't go out at the church building and see what reality oh, is. I, and the Bible comes. They don't. see I just it. can't believe there was that many people. That's right. That's that, that where was, I'm like, this oh is what's my gosh. happening now in America. Okay, and we're trying to get back on God's And, God's and I've stage. seen, and I've seen a lot of unjust, ungodly. Things that are posted well, just on Facebook, in, that's right. on everything, on everything else in the world. It's like we need to get closer what to you, God, what and it's Jesus all about say? love. As in the days of Noah, were, so also the coming of the Son of God be. So your name, Noah, found grace in the eyes of the Lord. But uh, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving marriage to the day that Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. They didn't know. So it's going to be the same thing. We're going to proclaim Christ until He brings judgment to the nations. Until he returns, until he gets out of here, uh, you know, when, in his timing. Our job is to be faithful as Christians. If we are born again, he's changed our nature, we will be because we're under his grace and empowerment. We can't do this in human strength. It's all glory to Jesus Christ. It is all him. glory. It's so we're just thankful you guys, Praise the Lord. You, Kurt, you guys uh, are able to go preach on your campus. You can tell other kids the gospel, hand out literature even. And if anybody gives you a problem, you got my phone, you can call me, okay, and we can get you set up with the right, uh, uh, the right law firm and things like that. So you have freedom of speech under the federal constitution to proclaim yeah. your right, to proclaim right now, your beliefs. As of now. Because other kids are getting persecuted throughout the country, uh, they're doing the same thing on their campus. So be encouraged, man. These kids need, they don't, their parents aren't teaching like your mom. They don't know Christ. They've never read the Bible. So we can't, we can't go inside. Because we can't go inside. And I have five children. Praise the Lord. What do you think? They all, they Noah, Jeremiah, Elijah, 
David and Destiny. Biblical Nick Glory. Oh, but may, may, may they be bold for the Lord. <laughs> Let's pray for you guys before we go. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this beautiful family, Lord God. I pray you just give them grace and boldness and courage to stand for righteousness in the last days. I thank you for their heart, Lord God. Uh, I pray for uh, Noah here at this particular school that he would know that this is reality. That there's no more time to play games and be bound by video games and trinkets and toys and all these other things. It's time to be a man of God. And uh, it, Lord, uh, even at a young age, Lord, you've called many uh, to serve you, Lord God, uh, like Jeremiah and uh, many others. Don't despise your youth and don't say that I'm a youth. You've given both by your Holy Spirit that we're able to proclaim Jesus and uh, uh, live in Christ, to live is Christ and die is gain. And Christ who is alive and appears will also appear in glory. So it's your life that you've given to us to live through us. Your faith is eternal. We can never lose our salvation once we're born again in you and we're going to grow. So I pray that the blessing will be upon this family, Lord God. Impart a spiritual gift to them, uh, Lord God, of, of boldness and just uh, whatever you would desire to give them as a family to, to serve you at a greater capacity in such a time as this. Uh, we pray for everybody at the school again, faculty members, parents, students that heard the word, saw the signs, that you call it your elect from this school. And I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, guys. God, God bless you guys. God bless you. That was a victory. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, was, and I'm definitely going to You want to come to Las Vegas Boulevard? Uh, you want to um, you know, serve any time? You guys come out. That would be awesome. You, you can park there at the Bally. We can park at the Bally. We'll we're out there about five, six nights a week right there on oh, Flamingo wow, and Las Vegas that Boulevard. That is awesome. And so tens of thousands are hearing the word there at nighttime. So, oh, okay. But you guys can come out. And that's where you're really going to learn. Okay. okay. So uh, give me a call. I am definitely going to call and, you. And Thank email, you okay? so much. And God bless. You guys have a great rest of the day, okay? God bless you both. Thank you. Breathe those your family. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.